Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to the Open TTD tutorial series and welcome to what is probably the hardest tutorial I've had to record. Um, it's not because it's, you know, an exceptionally difficult subject or anything like that, but this is the first time where everything I'm going to say is not opinionated and subject um, subjective. It is factual and therefore I have to get it right. So no more winging it, now I actually have to be accurate. Um, which is quite stressful to think about, but I'm going to do my best and get you guys through it so that you can play Open TTT J Open TTD JGR Patch Pack 2. Uh, here I am over here at Sunny Tram Depot, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install uh, Open TTD, or at least the JGR patch. It does work the same for other patches as well, in my experience. But ultimately, I specialize now in the JGR patch pack, and therefore I am going to show you how to download that. Now, I said download and install. Technically, that is true. Um, but for the most part, I will just be showing you how to download the game. And you will see why that is in just a second. I thought I'd show you a nice glamorous shot of the game here uh, before we started. I seem to have picked a time where not a single tram is moving, uh, which is great. But... It doesn't matter because I'm now going to hop over to a different screen entirely and show you how to download the game. Here we are then on the GitHub page for the JGR patch. It just so happens that I'm actually quite a few patches behind. The um, the patch that you saw on the screen at the start of this episode is patch 44 or 0.49.0. I don't know where I got 44 from. 0.49.0. Uh, the latest version of the JGR patch as uh, of the time of recording is 0.53.3 so as you can see I'm quite a little ways behind now I have played on more recent versions of the game uh, in the past um, there was a reason why I went back I can't remember what it was but uh, I'm looking to upgrade anyway because there's some new features that I want to try out and some bug fixes that I would like to see particularly when it comes to things like departure boards and scheduled dispatch and timetabling and things like that so this is a good opportunity to show you how to download the game now there should be a link in the description to this page uh, you can see my cursor right here hopefully everything I want to show you is actually on the screen I've uh, cropped it slightly so that you don't see my bookmarks or anything like that because everyone and I mean everyone gets paranoid when they uh, screen share their their Chrome browser or whatever browser in case there's something incriminating like uh, I don't know Thunderbird puppet how to make or something on your bookmarks bar that you don't want people to see Anyway, this is the uh, the page that you will arrive on when you go onto the GitHub. You can also search for OpenTTD JGR patch, and I believe it's the first or the second result. Basically, you want github.com slash jgrenison slash OpenTTD dash patches. That is the link you want. If it's not in the description below, for whatever reason, please do nudge me. I will add it. Uh, it's just me making 17,000 videos a week, sometimes forgetting to add things in that I'm supposed to. Now, if you're not familiar with GitHub, this might all look very confusing. I actually have my own GitHub for a project that I'm working on, and even I don't understand how this website works sometimes. The bit you're most interested in is this section here where it says releases. So you want to click on that, and it will take you to this page. Now, the most recent release is always at the top. If you scroll down, you get the next most recent, and then the next most recent, and so on, and so on, and so on. We're interested in the most recent one, which is just up here. You can go on the change log if you'd like. That tells you everything that's changed. Uh, if my voice keeps fading in and out, by the way, I've, I've got a new desk set up as well, which I probably should have watched a tutorial for how to record videos on an L-shaped desk because uh, I've put my microphone in a spot where if I look at my side monitors, I can't be picked up by the microphone very well. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to download the latest version of the JGR patch for Windows. Now, there's lots of different ones here. You've got Linux, uh, Linux, Deb is it Debian? Debian, I don't know how you pronounce that one. You got Linux Ubuntu, which is something I've worked with in the past as well. Don't ask me how that works either. No idea. Um, you've then got the Mac OS version. The one we want is the Windows Win64 version. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to start downloading. We're then going to jump to another screen in just a second and I'm going to show you what to do with that once it's finished downloading. Okay, here we are then in uh, File Explorer. I've downloaded the patch. You can see it just up here. Uh, once again, I've cropped my screen so you will see um, something similar to this. I have everything in dark theme as well because uh, my eyes are not what they used to be. Um, so you're going to left click on this. You can see it's a zipped folder. You're going to right click and if you've got WinZip, 
WinRAR, WinRAR, sorry, not WinZip. If you've got WinRAR installed, you'll have an extract files option here. So we're going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on OK. You can't see the screen. It's just popped up, but just click on OK. It's absolutely fine. And here we go then. Now, at this point, if I go into this folder here, this is everything that you need to play this patch of the game, minus a couple of teeny tiny details, which I'll mention in just a second. The important thing is, this is the game. There is no install required at this point. However, the uh, the patch here does require a couple of source folders still to be able to run. I don't know the full ins and outs of how it works. It's not. It's a little bit beyond my pay grade. It's not quite something that I'm knowledgeable on. But I know that it does need to reference other folders on your um, drive, on your hard drive. So what I do is I keep everything in my documents folder. So if I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go back here. So again, if you go to the downloads window, go into the first one, click on the second one, right click, cut, head over to your documents, right click again, paste. And there it is. Now at this point, you can just double click on openttd.exe here and the patch will load. Um, the reason I've put it in my documents and again, there are alternatives to this. I don't know what they are. I've never used them myself. But you see here, OpenTTD. This is the base game um, that I installed way back when. Uh, I don't actually know where the OpenTTD.exe file is here. But essentially, all my save files are in this folder. My new GRFs are in this one, along with this one here. All my screenshots that I take are here. And it just means that your patch version, which in my case is in this folder here, references that other OpenTTD folder. Uh, you can see here there's no saves, there's no content download or anything, just the game. But it references the other folder um, to load all your saves and things like that. So it's a good idea to put them in the same location. So then it uh, just has to jump up one, along, and then back into another folder. Um, but if I was to double click on this now, the game will open. For me it's opened. For you, it will open in just a second because I'm going to put another cut in and we're going to go and uh, load up the game and uh, and see what's new. So here we are then, the latest version of the JGR patch pack. Uh, already I'm noticing some changes. Things look a little bit zoomed out for a start. That might be... Yeah, I think I've actually solved that problem already. Uh, wrong one. It might be because I need to... Somewhere... Maybe this, this actually looks a little bit different. There you go. There's some new features. Uh, so I play on a 4K monitor, which is the, probably the most pointless thing you can do when you're playing OpenTTD. It's a very beautiful game. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it's not exactly designed for a 4K screen, as you can see. So um, I need to... Let me load up the game first, and I'll see if I can do it in the game. Because there might be some settings that uh, aren't available on the main menu. But essentially, that directory there where you just saw all my saves, for a start, yes, I have a lot of saves, I know. Second of all, they're all stored in the OpenTTD folder in your My Documents section, or wherever it is you keep the game. Uh, and just like that, boom, we're back here over at Sanly. Now, the setting that I needed to change was the interface size. There it is. My goodness. Uh, and you can see now that is why... Uh, I wanted to download the latest version because, actually, if I click that, so this is the resolution the game thinks I should play at, but this isn't a good resolution for content creation. So that's why I tend to have mine. As annoying as it is for me personally, I used to have mine on double. There we go. Now you guys can read the screen as well, particularly if you're watching this on mobile. Um, and that's it. That's how you uh, download and technically install the latest version of OpenTTD JGR. Now, some people might be wondering, why does this need a tutorial? Um, first of all, everything in this game can be tutorialized if you want it to be. Second of all, it's actually not that obvious when you think about it, because most people, you go on something like Steam, you purchase a game, even with the, uh, the OpenTTD version on Steam, you don't purchase it because it's free to play, but you just hit install and it does it for you, and then you can play it, and it's easy. This is a little more in depth. For those of you who aren't that uh, knowledgeable with computers, but you're you're still into games, uh, it's not obvious that you go onto a completely different website, 
download some files, extract them and put them in a very specific folder on your PC and then boom, games available to play. And I do see a lot of people on Reddit asking how do you install the latest version? And I've had a lot of comments on uh, on videos recently asking what version of the game do I play on? Well the answer now is uh, JGR version 0.53.3. Before this it was, what was it, 0 0.49.0. Um, and second of all, how do you install it? And now you know. So, if you found this tutorial helpful, please do give this video a like. Feel free to share it as well. That's always appreciated. Um, if you have any other subjects that you would like to see covered in this series, then do feel free to leave some suggestions in the comments down below. This is the 12th episode. So uh, if you want to learn how to build railways, that's episode one. Signaling is episode two. Um, stations, I think, is episode three. Uh, the last one before this was all about road building. So I strongly suggest checking out that one as well, because that's something that not many people uh, are familiar with. Things like one-way systems and all that kind of thing. How to build bus stops, different types of bus stops. Uh, you get the idea. Self-promotion, it's great. Um, otherwise, yeah, that will do for this one. It's probably the shortest tutorial video I've made in this series, actually. But uh, I'm quite happy with it, quite succinct. Like I said, if you've enjoyed the video, if you found it useful, please do hit that like button. And again, please do share. It really does help me out. It's nice to know that I'm doing things that people enjoy as well. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Wow, you'd think I'd know how to do my outros now as well. It's been long enough. Um, if you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you everyone for your continued support. A few more tutorials like this coming up in the not-too-distant future as well, so keep an eye out for those. I will try and keep them weekly for the next few weeks at least if I can. Uh, the next tutorial is actually going to be what settings and um, new GRFs I use. So if you want to check that one out, definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, come back this time next week. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your evenings and until next time, I will see you soon. <laughs>